We're kicking off our latest tour. This is the Country Roads Tour, taking us to West Virginia. We're visiting three of our West Virginia terminals. Our first visit will be in the Natrium Proctor, West Virginia area. Uh, the second stop will take us to Institute, West Virginia. And then we'll finish up in the, the Washington, West Virginia area. We just finished our first stop on the Country Roads Tour. This took us to our terminal in Proctor, West Virginia, also the Natrium area and uh, got to spend some time with Jody Prasik. Jody uh, has been with us over 20 years, manages our drivers down in this area that support some of our local customers. Uh, Jody and her, uh, her husband, Chuck, who I got to know a number of times over the years, he unfortunately passed away a few years ago. He's a great man, really committed to the company and to the drivers, and, and Jody's the same way. She's uh, uh, the only person stationed down here, along with our drivers, run about nine or 10 drivers. Uh, this is a, a long-standing chemical market right along the Ohio River. Uh, one of our main customers here has changed hands over the years. Uh, at least since I've been here, three different companies it's been. Uh, but it's a it's good, small operation here, and Jody really does a great job for us. And then Kevin Hedgepath, who's been with us about 10 years, I think he took a short hiatus, uh, but been with us over 10 years now. Um, he oversees a number of these terminals does a great job for us as well. So it was a, it was a good start to our uh, Country Roads Tour in West Virginia. We just completed our second stop on the Country Roads Tour of West Virginia. So this took us to uh, Institute, West Virginia. We've had a very, very long standing terminal here. This area of the country has a lot of chemical plants. You know, it was a good water supply, a lot of raw materials. Um, and uh, so we've had operations here for many, many decades. Um, I visited this terminal over the years. It's been a few years, probably about eight years since I've been here. It was really nice to meet the team and, and first to see all the improvements we've made in the shop, in the facility, to really get it up to the right kind of standard. It's still got some work to do, but it's gone a long way. So got to spend time with Robert, the terminal manager here. He's been with us a few years now. We run about 30 drivers out of here. Got to meet the rest of his team, including uh, Tammy. He's been with us over 20 years. Uh, we converted this operation from one of our affiliates in 2022. Got to meet uh, Kat and we talked a little bit about her precocious young daughter uh, that keeps everybody on their toes when she's in the office. Uh, then met with uh, Justin and, uh, and Keith, their driver managers for us. And then we spent some time in the shop. This is uh, an R stamp operation for us. Uh, we got that certification, I think in maybe 2023 or so. Um, uh, spent some with Carl, he's our uh, regional fleet manager, and then uh, Anthony, been with us uh, well over 20 years uh, as the, basically the shop leader, and he's the, uh, uh, the key shop guy here. Uh, and then a number of the mechanics, but Kerry, who's our uh, uh, maintenance coordinator, and then a lot of the folks uh, that do all the day-to-day -day work, uh, you know, whether it was uh, Vince and Chris and Dwayne, uh, there were a couple of guys that weren't there, uh, but met, uh, met a number of them. It was really nice. Uh, it's a great operation, run a number of bays. Uh, there's a possibility maybe of expanding this a little bit, if we can work out some uh, long-standing issues that preceded us to see if we can take advantage of some of the uh, open bays. But we run about three to four bays here. Uh, there's over 100 trailers serviced here, and this is a great quality group. So. Uh, it's a nice operation. Uh, it was a great visit with with uh, with Robert and his team, and it was a, a great second stop on our uh, on our Country Roads tour. We just finished our final stop on the Country Roads tour of West Virginia. So the last stop was in Washington, West Virginia. Uh, this is an operation that came over to us in uh, December of '16 when we purchased the private fleet of one of our uh, largest customers. Uh, brought over many locations, including Washington. Kevin Hedgepath was there again. He was with us on our first stop up in uh, Natrium, uh, and then got to meet uh, his team. We have a small team here, about you know, about 10 drivers. Uh, got to meet both uh, Jeff and Heather, um, who Jeff is our driver manager. Uh, Heather is uh, customer service or CSR, uh, and handles other terminal work as well, like some of our work out of Pennsylvania. Uh, does a great job for us and uh, uh, Jeff and Kevin have worked together for many many years at different companies uh, been with us both for a while now uh, do a great job and then we went down to the shop we have a small operation here and it's a little bit unique in that a lot of the work we do we have a, a pretty large box truck that we take over to one of our major customers we do most of the maintenance on site 
uh, for you know well over 100, 150 trailers. Uh, and so a lot of it is done, you know, outdoor during the elements. Okay, well, Gary Lynch oversees the area. He's our senior fleet manager. Um, and then uh, Travis at the local shop. So we got to meet him and uh, one of the mechanics. One of the other mechanics was, I think, off today on uh, vacation. And, uh, but it was a nice visit. And, you know, it really shows that these three terminals in West Virginia, you know, all within a total of, I don't know, three, four hours of each other uh, in total, um, it's really a core part of our business. You don't often think of West Virginia as having a lot of chemical production, but there's a lot of legacy plants along the Ohio River and this basin, and uh, we service all our customers very well. So uh, the last stop in Washington was a, a great conclusion to our country road trip.